Hello, this is Maria again with the second card for the make and takes for my July meeting. And it's this little 4x4 four four card, which I cased from the catalog. Yesterday, or the previous video, if you'll recall, I um, I made a video with this, this particular card uh, highlighting the Shimmer Vellum. Uh, and today, um, the the stamp set as featured is Sweet Strawberry. Now, it's strawberry season right now in Ontario, and I love Ontario strawberries. Here is the stamp set. Um, it coordinated with the stamp set from Celebration in, in the spring, which was Berry Blessings, and the two work together. This one is gorgeous as well as it has the strawberries and some little of the berry blossoms. And there's the t the um, the stamp and then the filler stamps, which is nice in case you don't feel like coloring. But anyway, we're going to look at this image and this sentiment for this particular 4x4 four four card. So this is... Um, this central circle is die cut with uh, layering circle framelits, and this with the stitched so so sweetly dies. Let's get out your kit. We'll move this along the side here, and in your kit you will have a four by four. Um, Flirty Flamingo um, cardstock base, four by eight, scored at four. You will have your circle die cut for you. Now, if this was a make and take during um, a regular in-person meeting, then I would not be die cutting these for you, nor would I be doing this for you. <laughs> and you also have some um, bumblebee gingham ribbon and this image stamped now I will ask you to color this and fussy cut it out because as you can see on here it is fussy cut okay I won't do everything for you and you will also have this well it's a four by four card and we don't sell, Stamping Up does not sell envelopes for a 4x4 four four card. So I'm going to show you how to make an envelope. The envelope punch board has retired, but I'm going to show you again how to use it in case you have it. And I know there are several uh, who have it and they keep saying to me, Maria, I have forgotten how to use it. So I will just review it again. So that is what's in your kit. Now, you will also get um, a piece of cardstock for the inside of your card. I don't have it for, for the card today. Alrighty, so what I want to do is I want to take this image and I want to color it. Um, I won't fussy cut it out. I already have one uh, fussy cut. Now I'm going to color it with the Stampin' Blends. You can color it with your favorite coloring medium, whether it would be watercolor pencils, whether it be chalk, whether it's the Stampin' Blends, whether it's um, blender pens and ink pads, it doesn't matter. So I have Flirty Flamingo. And notice I do label, I do put... Um, it saves a lot of searching and looking for colors. Daffodil Delight for the center. Granny Apple Green for the leaves. Okay, that's my, that's my color palette. I'm going to start with the flowers. And as you recall, if you know anything about strawberries, the flowers are like a pale pink. I'm going to start with the lighter flirty flamingo. Some will start with a dark. I don't think there's a right way. You know, just just color and enjoy yourself. Now, I don't want you to fuss, and I'm not going to fuss. As a matter of fact, I may leave some white areas. Heaven to forbid, but yes, as a matter of fact, that actually provides a little bit of interest, I think, that you don't color the whole 
flower in there. Now, wasn't that fast? Now, I'm just going to take a little bit of the dark. And just in the center, I'll just, instead of going in little circles, I'll just go in little, little scratches, I guess you call them. Doesn't really matter for the name. And then I will go back and just blend it a little bit so you don't see any lines. And I leave right around the edges just a little bit lighter because that's where the light would hit. And then the center of the flower, I'll just do a little bit of Daffodil Delight. The leaves, I'm going to start with the dark. And I'll, I'll use the smaller end, and you know how to determine the small and the, and the other, the brush end. It has, this is the small, it's a small line. This is uh, the wider and has the wide line. I know some have been using the markers for years and never noticed this. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the dark, I'm just going on the veins. Boy, it has really been hot the last couple of days. Today, it um, it's going to feel like 39 degrees. Not a day to be outside sitting on the patio, that's for sure. So it's a good day for me to make some videos, do some blog posts, make some cards. Oh, fun stuff. Anyway, so... And there's the leaves. I'll do the other one, and then I'll hold it up close to the ca to the camera. So again, with the dark, I'm just... You don't even have to do all of the veins or along the entire length, whatever you feel like doing. Don't let the pens or the colors intimidate you. Just do what you like. And there's no... With art, you can't... You don't make a mistake. there and I'm also going to with the fine point the smaller point is I'm just going to draw some green on the stems there now I'll put the the lids back on off camera because it just makes a clicking noise okay so that is our image and so you, you'll take your scissors now and cut all the way around it. And when you're finished, this is what it would look like. Okay. So we have that done. And now the other thing that we're going to stamp is this. And it is white embossing. Now it has been done for you. But um, in other circumstances, um during our in-person meetings, I will not be doing that for you. This is an unusual situation. So I have already um, wiped it with the Buddy so I don't get static. And I've just inked it with Versamark. And it says, hello there. Okay. And I have some white embossing powder. And I'll just put some white embossing powder and emboss it. And then this is what it would look like. Okay. Let's put the card together. Now you can have the card going this way or this way. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like. To start, add these circle. I'm going to bring my silicone mat out now. And I'm going to use my stamp and seal. I always like to try it on my silicone mat before I start. And if you haven't tried the stamp and seal, it is a very lovely adhesive. Um, a lot, I prefer it to the snail, although some people say the snail is easier to use. But once you get used to it, it involves a stroking motion rather than a snail with just a smooth motion. 
you get used to it. Anyway, then um, I'm going to you to add this using Tombow. And my Tombow is on its last legs. And um, I'm going to try and squeeze. Uh, oh, I might have a little bit left in there. My order hasn't come in yet. Just a little bit on the stems. You don't want to overdo it here because then you're going to get spillover onto your card. I, I have, my goodness, I had enough. I was kind of worried I wouldn't have enough. You can add it to the card front gently. And it doesn't have to be like my sample if you find that you'd like it another way by all means and this and before we add that if you'll notice here I have some ribbon and I want to show you how to put that on the bottom side you'll want to add this like this okay now to do that glue dots cover up my ink. Sorry for the clicking noise. Just move that aside. And I'm going to put it right in the center where I'm probably going to fold it. And you'll fold it so that the two ends don't quite meet. And you want and you don't want to fold it exactly in half. It's almost like a V for well, the start of my last name, what can I say? And then you want to add it to the back of your sentiment piece and again glue dot. Ooh, that wasn't, didn't want to play today. I can't blame it. And I think that's. And no, oh, that doesn't want to stay. I'll put another glue dot on. Sometimes in extreme weather conditions, the adhesives don't tend to work too well sometimes. I may have to, oh, I think that's going to stick now. There. Now with a pair of scissors that you have to cut ribbon, you get those out and you want to cut them at an angle. One again longer than the other. And there you have it. Now I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. Now normally I would put two, but I want to put one over the ribbon to make sure that it's held down. I'll take the protective covers off. Oops, and my ribbon came with it. Maybe move the dimensional a little bit down. There we go. Don't think I got the cover off that one. There we are. Okay, bring my card back. And I just want to trim that ribbon just a little bit more. The bottom one anyway. Now, um, there are embellishments to put on there, and again, I ran out, and like I said, my order hasn't come in, but the embellishments will be, if it's not in your kit, 
uh, you can put on embellish embellishments of your choice. Then you'll add the cardstock to the center. Now, let me explain about this. This actually is the template for an envelope for this 4x4 card. Just want to move my markers out of the way here. And I'm going to bring out the envelope punch board. Now this is what it looks like and the final result is this which is this okay it has a built-in score tool and there's a ruler there's a score guide and there is a scoring line okay so you, along here, there's a chart. You measure your card size, and we've got a four by four. This tells you the paper size that you need to start with, and this gives you the score line, and you say, all right, the score line, you've lost me already. This is the ruler up at the top, and it gives you measurements one, two, from zero to five this way. And this gives you, you need to start with one of these score lines on this ruler. And in this case, the four by four, we start with a piece of paper that's six and an eighth by, um, actually six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. And you score at, start at three and a half. Now, I think when I was reading it, I should have put my glasses on. I had it at six and one eighth by six and one eighth. So I'm going to take the template here and I will just put it around the, uh, the scoreboard. The printing is so small that it would be wise to have a magnifying glass or wear your glasses like I should have. Okay, so I've got a piece of paper here that is six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. And you would slide your paper underneath this. This is the punch element. It punches. Okay, so we start at, it says here, three and a half, which is right here. Okay, three and one half. And you punch. And you take your score tool and you go along the score line. Then you, this is the last time you need this ruler. You need to, don't, you don't need to look at this again. The, but the very first score along this line, that's the important. If you remember nothing else, that. And you turn it and this score guy here. you match it up, you lay it over the previous score line. And you punch again. And score. Turn it. Match the score line. Score again. Turn it. So you do this four times. There, then you should have four of these, four score lines. And one, what's nice here is that it has a corner rounder punch here so that one of the corners you can put in right here, punch again, and it rounds the corner. So if you ever, if you don't have a corner rounder punch and you have this, well, you have both now. So to turn it into an envelope, okay, this is a valley, this is the mountain, however you want to call it, you know, you, you fold towards the mountain because that's where the line, the uh, paper has been distressed. So I like to hold my, okay, and get it, fold it right on the score lines.
and this will be the top part. That's the one I I rounded. And I need to fold this a little better. Don't be afraid to go back in and rescore it if you're not happy. And you would take um okay, where did my here it is. There we go. You have an envelope for your card. Okay, and you can decorate the flap any way you wish. So that is this card, the 4x4 four four, um, card, uh, which is the second card for our team meeting. And you'll be making your own, well, putting together your own envelope. And I've given you a review of the envelope punch board. So thank you very much, and I will be making another video for the final project for our team meeting. Thanks for watching.